Sherbourne, Massachusetts. And the writer of Spiritually Speaking, a weekly newspaper column for Gannett Media. And I welcome you to another of my twice weekly video essays. Uh, with thoughts about how all of us can lean into and get through these strange and amazing days. So as you can see from my attire, I'm getting ready to follow Governor Charlie Baker's new order about face masks that goes into effect this morning. That public health initiative requires that all of us in Massachusetts now wear a mask like this one in public. This is a Boston Red Sox mask, so I have that. I've been wearing a mask like this one for a while, and there are lots of things I know that are not so fun or convenient about that face coverage. The biggest one for me is I cannot see the facial expression on other mask wearers I encounter, nor can they see my face, and so it's very hard to gauge how folks are feeling, and I can't smile at them to make their day maybe a little better, nor can they smile at me. Am I happy about now having to wear a mask? Honestly, not really. Is it easy to make sure my rotating supply of cloth masks are washed regularly? No. Is it still kind of weird to go out in public and see all of us masked? Absolutely. But will I therefore not wear a mask because it is inconvenient? or a hassle, or disconcerting? No, no. I'm accepting, accepting the fact that this is the way we have to do things going forward for a time, maybe a long time. I'm accepting the truth that I cannot do anything about COVID-19 in the largest sense, and so I have to live in this new way, as do all of us, for my own health and the health of those I share this world with. I need to accept the reality that this masking is the new norm in my world, in our world, for now. A few weeks back, I quoted one of my favorite prayers. It begins, God, grant me the serenity to accept. Accept the things I cannot change. Acceptance, acceptance. This is the spiritual discipline of knowing that in life, sometimes there are going to just be things that I do not like, or I do not understand, or that I am powerless to change. And so I have to work to accept these truths, accept life as it is right now, accept my situation, and then within that situation, do the best that I can, adapt, change, sacrifice. And in the case of my mask and these masks to follow this new public health rule. Acceptance is not about passivity. Acceptance does not mean that we just roll over and give up. No, acceptance is a spiritual antidote to figuring out what we can change, most often our attitudes, and what we can't, like a pandemic. Yes, I can shake my fist at the skies, and yes, I can complain about these hard times, and yes, I suppose I could even march up to the state house and protest. But I believe that the best thing I can do right now is to accept. Accept the things that I cannot change and work on the things that I do have control over, and that I can make a difference for the good, and that this will bring me to a place where I live life as best as I can right now, and wear a mask. One of my favorite quotes about acceptance is by a person named Joseph Goldstein. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. So my hope and prayer for all of us is that we might get to a place of acceptance this day acceptance and surf as best as we can on top of the waves of life these days. Spend more of our time doing what we can for the common good like wearing a mask and spend less of our time expending our energy against that which we have little or no control over. Acceptance. God grant us all acceptance. Thanks for joining me. Our church offers worship every Sunday morning on this Facebook page at 9.50 a.m. And we 
invite you to be a part of our community. Take care, and I pray that you and yours, your loved ones, that all of us, that we can keep the faith. Be well, stay safe, and God bless all of us, and God bless our world. Thank you.